Oh my gosh, this is ASMR. Listen. Oh my gosh, I think I clogged it. So today I was thinking to myself that I need to update you guys on all my tips and tricks on how to catfish everyone out there because I have so many of them and I'm going to compile them in today's video. Today we're sharing 10 hacks, 10 tips, 10 tricks, all that sort of fun stuff on how you can look your absolute best or just like little things I do just to improve my appearance. And you guys are going to see me in like probably 24 seconds with absolutely none of this done to my face. But there are little tiny minute things that can definitely improve your appearance a little bit if that's something that you want to go for. And I am doing this video for myself guys like I do not do all of this for like other people I do this because I personally love the way that it makes me feel and the way that I look with it I just do it every single day because it's what makes me happy so I'm not trying to tell you guys that you need to do this too if it's not something you want to do then feel free not to but I definitely think you're gonna be able to find maybe one or two or even ten tips in this video that can help you guys out when you're getting ready in the morning to just maybe amp up your image a little bit so let's get started you're very lucky to see me like this on camera. I don't like doing it often. So this is my once a year glow up routine so I can just teach you guys everything. But we're starting off with hair because everyone says eyebrows are the window to the face. But honestly, hair is the window to my face because like I don't even have a window. I don't even know. So I'm starting off with hair. The thing about my hair is I only have to wash it like twice a week because my style will actually stay for like three or four days. So I only have to do this about two times a week. So I do like to just like smooth it out and give it like a little bit of shape using a round brush. So I basically just kind of start in the back right here. And if you see me looking over in this direction, it's because I have a mirror right here. I start in the back right here and I kind of twist whatever hair will go on there. Legit probably just spent one minute doing that and instantly like it adds a lot more volume to my hair It smooths it out. It kind of puts it in the direction that I want it to go So that is why I always do like a little bit of round brushing with a blow dryer But then what I like to do is go in with a miniature straightener, which it looks like this so tiny and small But I do like to grab just a little bit of heat protectant and I spray it throughout my hair just to Protect it a little bit and I probably should have done this before the blow dryer, but you know we live and we learn. So I'm going to take the small little straightener now and all I do is I literally take kind of like bigger chunks and I just try to give the ends a little bit of a curl. And I just do this super quick. Grab quick chunks and just kind of go through and just kind of curl the tips a little or just flip them. So I added in a little bit of curl um, across the hair and then what I do is I just like to put like a texturizing spray in there really quickly to give it a little bit of hold. And then I'll finish off my hair using a little bit of pomade and it just kind of shapes it and um, I can kind of mold it a little bit more. I also feel like it coats the hair a little bit and makes it look a bit more healthier. So I try to do this all the time just to kind of get it through the strands and make it look a little nicer. So I'm just gonna... You can also add like a little bit of Stronghold hairspray every now and then just to kind of help you with the shaping process. So that's how I do my hair, super simple. It has a little bit of curl, a little bit of texture. It's a lot higher up. There's more body to it. Overall, I just think it looks a lot better than how it did before, of course. And it was super, and it, and it took me, and it maybe took me like five minutes, six minutes maximum, and I can keep this for multiple days, but just like retouch it each morning when you go out, you know, so. This next little tip is for people that have like really fast growing hair, which is very much like mine. I try to get my hair cut every two weeks, but if for some reason my barber is busy or if I'm busy, I always try to do this little hack every single time. And that is just to trim the lower back part of your hairline because I find back here is the area that you can tell the most when someone needs a haircut because it's grown out. It's typically starting to curl. It just looks messy. Not even that it needs to be super polished and like guido, like tight cut up you know but like at least trim it up a little bit don't make it look straggly or long if you are in need of a haircut just trim that bottom line a little bit and it will tide you over until your next one okay so we're still working on this glow up but we got to talk about skin because skin is a humongous aspect of anybody like everyone has skin your body's like made up of freaking skin of course so the thing that i have been so obsessed with and the sponsor of today's video is Tej Hanley products. I don't know if you guys have heard of these. These are amazing and I absolutely love their concept or like their business model because it's actually a monthly subscription that provides you with the perfect amount of skincare you need for that month and it is so affordable because I personally have purchased skincare in the past where like one serum is like $140. So basically when you go onto their site, there are three different levels of skincare and there's also two different acne levels. So if you are someone with more acne prone skin, then you can check out those as well. I personally am going to be using the level three today because I like to just go all in with my skin 
skincare, but there's a level two and a level one. I'll talk about each of those right now. The level one skincare is just like your basic model. It's for anyone that wants something super quick, super easy, no fuss. Um, it comes with a daily facial wash, an AM and a PM moisturizer, and a face scrub. So you get four products in the level one. In the level two, you get the four products I just mentioned, but you also get a eye cream, which is great because I love a good eye cream. I just love all forms of skincare. And then in the level three skincare, you get all the products I just shared to you, including the eye cream, plus a super serum. And I am an avid serum user. I think this makes your skin look so pretty, so glowy, so hydrated. I have very naturally dry skin, so I find having a serum on hand all the time is a super, super beneficial plus. And I'm obsessed with this one, by the way, guys. I've been using these products since the beginning of February, and I absolutely love them. But I already washed my face using the morning face wash, and there's literally nothing left in this bottle. Like, I'm almost out of it. I am now going in with the AM Morning Facial Moisturizer with SPF 20. And the other cool thing is that I um, kept this from the box. It actually has a full guide telling you how to do your skincare. So if you're someone that doesn't really know what to do, then I highly suggest that. This smells so good too. But I'm going to also use the eye cream because I love a good eye cream. And these bottles are so nice that they come in. Like everything's packaged so nicely. So I'm just gonna grab a tiny bit of the eye cream, put it on my fingers. Uh, tap it right there. And then we're gonna go in with the super serum, which is just gonna kind of hydrate the face and really keep it nice and moisturized all day long. And literally, look, my face looks bomb. Can't tell me it doesn't. I'm sorry. Don't even comment it because it looks so fresh and good. They smell great. They're made with quality ingredients. They're affordable. They're simple. They're easy. Everything about it is just a great company. So I'm going to link them below. Check them out at the top of the description box because if you're someone that struggles with skincare, you don't know what to buy, it's already done for you. So you might as well just go check them out. So a new product that I found on Amazon has been changing my life. I'm obsessed with facial rollers. And look at this one. It looks like a sex toy for sure. I'm not going to lie. But I love this. So basically what it is, it's a face roller. And I simply, after I do my skincare, you can use this to just make the skincare even penetrate deeper into the skin and kind of get into more surface layers. But I use it on my jawline. So I do this. I push it up. Kind of suck in. Do it about six or seven times on each side. And basically what this does is it increases lymphatic drainage, which I know sounds strange, but your face gets really puffy around here from like eating sodiums or from eating different foods or just from environmental stress, whatever it might be. And this reduces the puffiness and the swelling in your face. So overall, it just makes your face look a little bit more structured and a little bit skinnier if you like that look. Um, and I also do it right here, really good and fresh. And I've just really been liking this facial roller. I use it every single day in morning and at night. And I just think it's really nice. You can do it right under your eye where you applied the eye cream, just with one of the balls. Now that our hair's done, our skin looks pretty, I'm gonna put on like a fake bronzy glow because I just like the way that I look a little bit tanned. I'm a very, very, very pale person. Like, I'm optic white almost, you guys. Like, I have no color to my skin. So I like to just add it, and I use this product here. It's the San Tropez Gradual Tan Tinted, and I've used this for years. I've shown it on my channel before. And this literally takes me one second and I only do my face and no one ever clocks me on it which is amazing so I use one of the tan mitts this is one of them here as you can see it's been highly used and all I do is I take the product I add maybe this much product on there not very much at all and I go in and I just dot this around the face so I'm gonna put a little on my head and I kind of let my skincare soak in for a little bit prior to doing this because I don't want to get it like all mixed in with the skincare but I kind of rub it on there. This is just a body lotion that has tint to it. So it's not like a full on fake tanner where it's gonna look like you have like an orangey tan on. This just kind of gives your skin a nice tint and I just love the way that it looks. Instantly I find that I look healthier, more glowy, more pretty. I do bring it a little bit down my neck. I never really do it on my body at all because no one's seeing me naked anyway, sadly. So don't need to put it anywhere else. And that's a thing that I only have to do about twice a week as well. It'll last for multiple days. And the thing that I absolutely love about that tanning product is it doesn't crust off your skin where it looks like your fake tan's like rubbing off if you've ever experienced that before. It literally melts away. Like it melts away after multiple days. It's never once looks splotchy, patchy or anything. It just fades so nicely and evenly. And then, um, and then you just can apply more when you feel like you need to. Next up, let's talk about eyebrows because eyebrows can be kind of like a touchy subject for guys, I feel like. It just depends on your personal preference. I'm one that I kind of like a shaped brow, but I also let my hair grow out a lot before I repluck them. So I'm not gonna pluck them in today's video. So I pencil the front part in and I do nothing to this end section here. So I'm using a little bit of a brow brow, a brown brow pencil. 
And all I do is I take this, I wonder if I should do it in here, I guess I could, and I just slightly go like this. Like literally the smallest little hair strokes and I'm like basically done. And look at how instantly, like look at this eyebrow compared to this one, like so much better. And then I do this side too. You can go in with a little bit of a spoolie, which is just kind of like a brush and just kind of brush through your hairs a little bit and put them in place if you feel like you need to. And this guys is just my personal eyebrow preference. If you're one that doesn't want to fill your eyebrows in, no worries. But I wanted to show you that if you do have like a sparse eyebrow or if you do have an eyebrow that starts further out or doesn't go far enough out, you can use an eyebrow pencil to quickly fix that. You can use some clear brow gel to put your eyebrow hairs in place or even just use something like a spoolie or a small beard brush just to brush them in the right direction and they'll probably stay all day. So those are just a couple quick tips to fix your brows if you feel like you need to. Okay, rolling into the beard, which the beard's fun because like you can do so much with a beard. I just keep mine very generic and I use two tools to do that. This is my Philips Noralco Multi Groom from like Target. Both my tools are from Target actually. This is a Philips Noralco One Blade, which I use this to get really close. And this is the Philips Noralco Multi Groom, which I use to kind of keep my facial hair at the length it is. This one, however, gets close. So all I do is I go in and I trim my beard line very, very clean and nicely. So I'll show you exactly how I do that. But I also do wanna share with you guys that I do use that same eyebrow pencil that I use on my eyebrows to add little false hairs to my beard, which I've shared this on my channel before. I love this technique, like look at this. Ooh, we're gonna look snatch in a minute. Watch this. Go in, add tiny little strokes. Took one second and it looks so much better. My facial hair grows very unevenly, which sucks. I know a lot of people have great facial hair. I'm one that doesn't, but I also know a lot of people are in my boat too, where they struggle with their facial hair and it doesn't grow how they want it to. So using an eyebrow pencil to just kind of imitate hairs is a great way to fill in sparseness. And I have to show you guys this hack because my hairdresser told me about this and I love it. So basically what it is, is I kind of already have it right now. I was looking in the mirror. It's to, when you use your hair trimmer, cut your facial hair around your top lip a little bit outside. So as you can see, there's like a little bit of skin on the outside of my top lip. That is because it instantly gives like almost a highlight to the top of your lip um, because my facial hair normally grows all the way till it kind of goes on top of my lip. If you trim it perfectly right around the edge like this, Ooh, 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 ooh. instantly gives your top lip a little bit of a lift and that's because it gives a highlight to the top of it and makes it look a little bit more lifted than it actually is and my hairdresser taught me this tip and guys like I think everyone needs a good fragrance so this is my favorite one it's another 13 by Lalabo it's just the one that I went to the store and found that I liked the most and I think that this is a great thing to add to you every single day a signature smells amazing plus people can be drawn to scent so you might even find a boyfriend or a girlfriend from wearing a cologne like it's as simple as that so add on a little bit of a cologne make yourself smell good keep one in your bag keep one in your backpack keep one in your car anywhere that you can just apply it on pretty quickly if you do forget throughout the day um, to apply it because I think that it does very much increase your overall look and your overall glow up which is what we're going for in this video and guys we're on the 10th one this is a weird one i know it's you guys are probably gonna be like what why are you doing this invest in nose hair trimmer i highly suggest this i have the worst nose hairs guys like i swear to you they grow out of my actual nose invest in one of these it looks like this it's like a circular little trimmer thingy and you shove it in your nose and you twist it around watch this is asmr listen Oh my gosh, I think I clogged it. Nose hair free. I think nose hairs are so gross for some reason. I don't know what it is. I think when there are long nose hairs coming out of someone's nose, I think that is so unattractive. So please trim your nose hairs. And something like this, it's kind of hard to get in there, you know? So invest in a simple $8 nose hair trimmer. I think it's a great investment. Okay guys, so I hope that you enjoyed getting ready with me today and all of my little tips on glowing up. I know some of them were super simple and kind of self-explanatory, but then I hope there were other ones that can also help you guys. Look at my tan, look at this color difference. Do you see that? I should just probably change my channel name to catfishing on the daily because kind of do. I do want to give a huge shout out to Tej Hanley for sponsoring today's video because I really do believe in their skincare and I love the way that it makes my skin look and the way that it makes my skin feel and the whole uh, concept behind their company I think is great. Check the description box below for more information for them and I will catch you guys all in my next one. Definitely subscribe for brand new men's fashion and lifestyle videos every single week and you can follow me on Instagram at I'm Drew Scott for more content as well. I'm heading out to catfish some people and I'll catch you guys in the next one.